So, Shane, what kind of issues do veterans face when they return home uh, that we may not know about? Yeah, some of the challenges veterans face especially aging veterans and veterans with service-connected disabilities are accessibility issues, uh, simply, you know, things that we take for granted walking into your own home. Um, these veterans are having challenges, so doing things like handicap accessible ramps, uh, making the flooring even, uh, bathrooms lowering, um, shelving, putting grab bars for safety. So it's really a safety and accessibility issue that these uh, veterans are facing right now. So tell us a little bit more about what you're doing today. I see in the background there's a lot going on and how you're helping veterans across the country. Yeah, we, we've been here bright and early. You see Team Devo behind me hard at work uh, with renovating uh, Mr. Mac Bailey's home. We're doing the ex exterior, uh, doing a lot of landscaping. But on the inside, you know, as I stated, the, the things that really the challenges for veterans who have fought for our country and, and served in foreign wars, and now they're coming back and, and having challenges. So I think, um, I think, you know, restoring some dignity back to them and making their home uh, a little more accessible and safer and, and aesthetically pleasing. That's amazing. So Shane, as a war veteran yourself, what does it mean to you to be able to help Mr. Bailey and others like him? Yeah, it's, it's a great honor, especially, you know, a highly decorated World War II veteran like uh, Mac Bailey, four bronze stars. Uh, it's just amazing to be around someone like that and, you know, as a veteran to give back. It's great. Actually, this chair that I'm sitting in, I built for him. Uh, I heard from his family that he loves to sit on his front porch and didn't really have a, a place to sit, so I custom built this. Uh, it's kind of a bench sofa, deep seats, uh, really soft, very comfortable, so now he can sit, um, say hi to his neighbors, and, and do it in style. Wow, that's really awesome. So how is Mr. Bailey handling all of this? How does he feel? Uh, he's really humble. I, I see it time and time again. Veterans uh, are humble. They don't really want to ask for the help, but are super appreciative of it. And, and he's, he's right there, par for the course, just thankful and, and doesn't feel like he deserves it. But um, obviously, you know, he deserves it. And really, it's, it's, he needs it. It's something that's often overlooked for our aging veterans. You know, and, you know, veterans like myself are coming back from recent wars, but sometimes we forget about Vietnam veterans and World War II veterans, and, and that's what Home Depot is focusing on, is aging veterans, accessibility issues, and, and it's a great, uh, great thing to be a part of. Shane, this is the perfect story right in time for Veterans Day. I love it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Where can our viewers go for more information or if they want to help out? Yeah, to help out, log in to homedepot.com slash Team Depot. You can find out information. Uh, you know, we've been in 375 cities over the last two months helping thousands of veterans. Uh, but in, uh, right now, you can actually help by posting a social media uh, photo on Instagram or Twitter. All you have to do is take a photo, hashtag service selfie, and Team uh, Depot, the Home Depot, will donate $1 towards uh, a veterans foundation or veteran-related causes. So hashtag service selfie and, and you can make an impact right now. Great, Shane, thank you so much again. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Have a good day. You too, thanks.